All right, so back to it, following that impromptu segue of this unplanned two-part video, because apparently I'm not intelligent enough to make sure the battery's charged all the way for starting a video. Back to it, where was I? Making fun of Thales, Lutes, and Tim Bosch. So yeah, like I was saying, Thales, Lutes, really a name that you really don't expect to be hearing in the year of our Lord 2015. Uh, whenever I hear Lutes, automatically I think of UFC 97. Ironically, also a show uh, headlined by Anderson Silva and how he turtled up and just made a mockery of the sport for 25 minutes and what was really one of the worst fights I've ever seen. And I've seen the Dan Severn Ken Shamrock fight. I can tell you, it was a bad fight. So anyway, him against Tim Bosch. Like I said, I'm going with Thales Letes. I mean, Tim Bosch, I think he's pretty much on the decline. Thales Letes, I mean, as long as he's not finding anyone that's actually, you know, good, he actually has something of a chance. And I think he's played fairly well, and I'll give him the advantage over Tim Bosch. I don't know what I said earlier, but I'm going to go with Letez. You name his decision. It just feels like something would happen. Uh, welterweight opening uh, events for the, the main show. Jordan Main taking on Tego Alves. Man, Tego Alves, that's another name that you really don't expect to be hearing in the year 2015. You know, going back to UFC 100, of all things. Taking on Jordan Main. Jordan Main, I think, is a guy who was really heavily touted for a while. Um, Alves is a big dude. Solid striking. Okay wrestling. Uh, it's hard to call. It's the year of the ups. I'm going to go with Alves. Decision. Split. All right. Do it really quickly. Going to throw the preliminary cards. Uh, Misha Tate versus Sarah McMahon. This really should be actually be on the main card, but it's not because I don't know why. Uh, it should be a good old-fashioned barn burner. Lots of shirt ripping and hair getting thrown out everywhere. Uh, I'm going to go with Misha Tate. First round. Stoppage. Just, just got a feeling. McMahon, she, she's pretty good. She's got good submissions. But I think Tate, she's just... She's a very bad woman. And she wins this fight. Title shot coming up? Probably not. But you know what? She She's pretty good. Uh, the rest of the matchups, Derek Brunson against Ed Herman. Oh my god, at the names I haven't heard in years. Where are these people coming from? Um, I'm going to go with Derek Brunson, decision, unanimous. Uh, Ian McCall taking on John Lineker. This actually looks better than most of the shows, uh, on the, most of the fights on the main card. Um, I'm going to go with Lineker. By second round decision. Not second round decision, what am I talking about? By second round stoppage. Uh, lightweight Raphael Natale taking on Tom Watson. I'm going to go with Natale by decision. Unanimous and uh, UFC fight pass shows. Diego Brando taking on Jimmy Hetz. Oh man, Hetz. He, remember that one fight he had in 2011, I want to say? Where he looked absolutely unstoppable. And then every fight he's been in since, he looks very stoppable. Well, anyway, I'm going to go with uh, Diego Brandau. He's a pretty bad dude. I got a winning by third round stoppage. Uh, we got Adamar Alcantara taking on Richardson Mura. I'm going to go with Alcantara. Decision. And our current jerker, Tego Santos. Whoa. What an out there. Out there. Out there card we have here with all these uh, old school names. I'm um, taking on Andy Enns. Don't really familiar with Andy Enns, but I'm going to go with Santos because I've seen him fight before, and I'll take the, the demon I know over the demon I don't know. So there you go. Those are my picks for UFC 183. You know, I hope it's going to be a pretty decent card. Uh, really, you know, the main events, what making this thing. Hopefully it'll be all sorts of strike forcey. And if you're not watching it, I probably won't either.